Hi, my name is Rafael and I'm taking the course CS50's Introduction into Game Development and in this short video I will show you how my solution for the first assignment where you implement a AI for Pong um, yeah, how my solution looks like. So um, first I will um, show you the code that I changed or added. So in the love that update function um, you have a section where the player paddles are updated so for player one um, like we have uh, learned in the lecture um, if the key v is pressed w is pressed then um, the paddle goes up and if the key s is pressed the paddle goes down and I um, implemented a AI, so to say, for player two, which basically um, moves the paddle always uh, that way that it, the center of the paddle is aligned to the ball. And this logic um, is encapsulated in this function, which I'll, I'll call here. So um, I I created a function in the paddle class. So instead of calling update with the delta time, um, I'm calling update AI with by with passing the ball because I need to know where the ball is at this point. So let's look in this function. Here it is. So as I, as I wrote here in the description, it takes a ball as parameter, so the ball an object of the ball class and changes the y coordinate of the pedal in that way that the center of the pedal is always aligned with the center of the ball. So to do this um, I just first look uh, if the dy of the ball is um, smaller than zero because this means that the ball is moving upwards kind of and um, if that's the case I basically um, um, take the y coordinates of the ball plus um, the ball height um, divided by 2, so I get the center of the ball minus the height of the paddle self divided by 2. S so um, that way I get to the center of the paddle. And this is basically only assigned to the, just assigned to the y value of the paddle, and the mathmax function only ensures that the paddle is not moving out of the screen, basically. So as we have it uh, before in the normal update function, and basically the same thing is done if the ball is moving down, just with the mathmin function, so that the paddle does not go out of the screen at the bottom. So, and I would suggest you just uh, look into the game itself, how this works in the end. So, I'm I'm the left paddle, and the right paddle is is controlled by the computer. So let's start. And as you can see, it always moves in the way that the ball always hit the center of the paddle. So it will always play the ball back, no matter how the ball <laughs> comes. Oh, I messed up. Okay, thanks for watching and bye.